now i will create a csv file uh, let me say with okay with open let me open a file let me say test.csv in the append mode first i shall show you writer and then reader for writer what we do is we create a writer first let me say writer object is equal to csv dot now csv i have to import csv csv dot writer for the file f and line terminator is equal to we should always give backslash in and then let me create a record suppose i want to write a name roll number and box out record equal to let me say amit roll number 1 and marks uh, let me say 34 and wo dot write row rec this will write this record in the list is that clear who asked it i don't know but is that clear hello Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Vishali, the sides are in, sir. Okay, fine. Now, <clears throat> after this, we can write multiple rows also. Uh, let me say data is equal to. Uh, let me say. nested list then so this is about writer object using writer object we can write a single record using the write row method and multiple records using write rows method is that fine is that fine hello yes sir yes sir thank you sir okay fine yogesh sir yogesh sir one down yes sir one down sir write row function is writing the record which is there in rec what is the purpose of writer here then writer where is writer writer is writer this function method, ha this method creates the object writer object using this writer object only you can write the data that's all you can write the data okay sir okay here we did not mention the file name anywhere wo what is wo it is a writer object corresponding to which file corresponding to this file yes is that fine okay okay yeah thank you sir yes okay so now if i this uh, run this program save it
Fumi. So you can see these records. The data has been written in the file. Is that clear? Yes. Okay, fine. Now, how to read the data? I open the file in read mode. Then I create a read object. CSV dot reader. Now using this reader object, I can read the data from the file. Now I can say for this reader object can be used as an iterator. To return the data for example what i do is see this is a very convenient way we create a list of all the records now let me say for rec in ro rows dot append All the data from the file has come to my local variable rows, which is a list of lists. So I can process it in any way. Permission denied because the file is already open. See, the data has been read from the file. It wrote the wrote the data again, okay, and all that data has been read from the file. There's so many. So can we change this arrow also? Just a minute, just a minute. there are so many things open now. Let me close all this. Hmm. Not tell me. Yes, some question was there regarding our room. So can we display that arrow also instead of appending it into rows? No, this is an object. This is not the list of records. Okay. It is an object which contains the list of records. It can be used as an iterator. Let us try. Let us try to print arrow and see what happens. For this particular attempt, let me not write. Mm -hmm. So now I am locking the room. I will lock the room. See, let me print arrow and let us see what happens. Sorry, I was making it a comment. See, this is what is arrow. This is a reader object. So the contents of the object are not shown here. Are you getting it? Some mics are on. Address of the object. Pardon me? Sent it. It is the address of the object. Yes, yes. This object at this address. Yeah. So, reader and writer object is over, or should I give more examples? No, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay, we fine. can continue. Fine. Yes, it is clear. Thank you. What was the agenda today? Uh, we had to see the doubts from the previous class.
and then updation and deletion in a CSV file. Uh, did we do this updation and deletion in a CSV file? No, sir. No, sir. Okay. First, let me lock this meeting. No more admissions. Fine. Now I will make an updation in this file. But first I will make some changes in the file. What I do is I open this file. And in this file, let me remove these four records. And usually what happens is we also write the headings. Let me say name, roll number, and marks. Okay. Now suppose I want to update, I want to increase the marks of each student by 2. 34 becomes 36, 56.5 becomes 58.5 and so on. I save this file. I close it. Now I go there. Import CSV. I want to update the file. For updation, first I have to read all the data from the file. with open what was the file name test.csv in read mode read row object is equal to yes comma ke baad r nahi aayega wahan pe Aiga like in Zurotnaya. By default, opening mode is read mode only. मैं क्या करूंगा ये जो मेरे लिस्ट है रोज आई विल अपडेट इच रिकॉर्ड एंड आई विल ऐड द आई विल ऐड द अपडेटेड रिकॉर्ड्स इन द लिस्ट रोज फर्स्ट लेट मी अपडेट द रिकॉर्ड नाउ लेट मी से रेक टू प्लस इक्वल टू टू सो दैट मार्क्स आर इंक्रीज बाय टू एंड देन rows dot append rec so now my rows contains the updated data if i say print rows let us say it should contain the updated data no what is the error Anyone, please. It's considered as a string, sir. Yes. Concat to, cannot concatenate string. Cannot concatenate. So what I do is, I say rec two is equal to float of rec two plus two. Now it is fine. Sir, so remove equal to please. There is another equal to yes, on the right hand side. Yes. Fine. Now again, let us see another error. What is that error? Sir, I guess data should be converted into string before adding it to the CSV. No, no. By default, when the data is read, uh, let me display rec. Okay. 
this is an important point because the students will also <coughs> face problems in this point okay and you'll have to solve that problem oh i revealed where is the problem okay this is the uh, header yes yes column header this is a very common problem which the students are going to face ha okay first row has not to be updated so there are multiple ways to handle that that is uh, up to you and up to the student how the student handles it so what i can do is i can have a counter counter equal to 0 for a can row if counter is equal to 0 then pass okay otherwise if counter is 0 counter plus equal to 1 fine otherwise recto is updated now sir rows ko bhi to indent karenge na append should also be indented then na mm -hmm. still we have an error no there is no error okay 34 has become 36 earlier it was 34 34 56.5 now it is updated data 58.5 58 and 78 so what i did was using a variable i skip the first record okay now excuse me sir yes so there is one more method for which we can uh, skip the first row that is the next method before the for loop you write next bracket may reader r o then it move to the next line uh, uh, tell me where where in the so for where you write the c is equal to 0 here you can write next yeah where you write the c is equal to 0 upar sir for loop se pehle so what should Aza i write initialize kara ha huh. सर इसको हटा के आप यहां लिख सकते हैं नेक्स्ट नेक्स्ट एनी एक्स टी नेक्स्ट ब्रैकेट में सर आर ओ आर ओ तो ये फर्स्ट लाइन को रीड कर लेगा और फोर लूप से जब वो करेगा वो सेकंड रो रीड करना शुरू करेगा सर फाइन बट द थिंग इज दैट व्हेन आई राइट द डेटा अगेन इन द फाइल ना माय रोज कंटेन्स ओनली द डेटा नॉट द हेडर Yes, sir. sir. Can't we use seek here before actually moving inside the file? No, there. No, no, no. Uh, seek because we don't know what is the length of first record. Seek what? Uh, if we could count it anyhow, then uh, it would be a very good example of seek and tell which you told us in your previous class. I think so. Otherwise. that will be more complicated uh, when we can simply skip one row okay, okay. Uh, then why to have all that uh, counting the number of uh, characters and then uh, skipping that using seek right sir right if possibly we want to give an example of seek then it is very good otherwise this right, no. right. sir sir isme hum ek cheez aur bhi to kar sakte hain sir before next we write uh, rows dot append ro so first row is uh, written into the rows and then we no, use no, the no, next no, statement no no yes, rows append ro uh, what is ro ro is not a record record set ro, ro is, is the record object. set ro is an object okay so what i can do is see the things are simple okay okay sir the things are simple what i prefer to do is rows dot append right let's keep the things simple first i create uh, this list of records then for i in range next ek class chal rahi hai 1 2 okay length of rows plus 1 hum baat kar rahe hain ki kaam kar rahe hain then rec 2 is equal to
list index out of range. Why? Sir, plus one will come there in the for loop. No, it will not come. नहीं आएगा नहीं आएगा नहीं आएगा सॉरी हम्म ओके सो वी आर इंक्रीजिंग द मार्क्स बाय टू देन आई कैन ओपन द फाइल इन राइट मोड सो द फाइल गेट्स डिलीटेड एंड देन राइट रो ऑब्जेक्ट Writer object is equal to CSV dot writer file comma line terminator equal to backslash n and then W dot write rows. The right row, uh, this uh, the list rows contains header also. Now my file has been updated. So marks have been updated. So basically what I am doing is, I am taking all the data in a list rows, updating that list rows, open the file in write mode and write that list. Similarly, deletion can also be done. We pick all the data in, in the variable rows, delete from rows and then write that complete rows in the file. Is that fine? Hello. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Sir, sir, sir it sir. means sir. while deleting, we'll accept the record which is to be deleted. Yes. Then, yes. Uh, right, uh, accept that record. We'll put all other records in the list and then we'll write back the list to the file. Yes, yes. That is an easier yeah. way uh, rather than taking yeah. a temporary file and then maintaining both the files together. Yeah, yeah, definitely. It means it's a simple way, like whatever operation we are doing, we are doing on a list of list and then uske baad, uske pehle to the procedure is same. Yes, yes. Right. Thank you. So uh, once you know this, then all the other variations uh, to delete a record with a particular roll number, with a particular name, the marks of a particular student, search on roll number, everything is... Yeah, there. definitely. It means it is basically you are reading the data in the list of list and then the list operations the students need to perform. Yes. Yes. Or if list needs to be updated in the file and then write it back to the file. Yes. Right. Yes. So, thank yes. you. Okay. Now this meeting will be over. 40 minutes limit. I'll again start the meeting and send the link. Okay. Fine. So, can we start uh, binary files if this is uh, all clear to everyone? Please, sir.